Hey, Scott. Hey, Steven. <laughs> How you doing? Fine. I see you. Good. Are you ready to discuss another health check? And this one is on e-commerce. You betcha. And you are an expert in <laughs> e-commerce. I yes. keep calling you an expert in a lot of things, but commerce Don't tends to be, yeah. Commerce tends to be something of a bread and butter for Flywheel. We do a lot of it. Yeah. So we do not catalogs. Like if you just need to turn on a catalog, then just go turn on a catalog. Yeah. Yeah. That's not, yeah. but I would say like B2B, yeah. larger commerce, yeah. more complex stuff. Yeah. commerce as opposed to say just a shopping cart. Yeah. So walk us through what a health check would really um, entail if we're looking at a company that's asking, hey, we need some help well, to review what we have. I, I think it's really important to realize that not all e-commerce sites are about counting orders and dollars. Yes. They, they are sort of fundamentally, but we have to understand sort of what drives your e-commerce, um, how that impacts your business. Is it the be all and end all or is it the beginning or the end or a component of it? Um, so we'll have those conversations and we'll tease that out. Um, so obviously in the world that sort of we get involved, it's it's nuanced. Um, and then with that in mind, we'll turn our attention to the technical infrastructure and sort of look yeah. at those tools and the systems and how they're connected and how and how they work from a technical perspective. Um, Which is 100, every time we talk to a customer, it is, oh, I'm looking at this platform. Sure, like the, platform first. There yeah. has never been a platform in commerce that does not have customization for <laughs> commerce. It is just not there. And for any Fair. sales person that works for a commerce product, <laughs> if they tell you that they are lying. Okay. And it's that simple. So <laughs> you're right. It is very important so to go do. through that technical architecture to identify some best practices. But, but okay, so then to your point, I think the experience is very much about user journey and um, usability and ease of use yes. and user friendliness. And so then we'll take a look at those journeys. What is the, the goal? Is it simply baskets and checkouts? Um, how is that influenced? How is the system architecture and the user architecture um, crafted and, and what can be done to optimize or, or improve that? But I'll also say that the the biggest drop-off point is within the, the shopping cart itself yes. and for many different Absolutely. reasons. Sometimes they're actually not being used as a shopping cart, more as a wish list. And, and what's the sort of extension to potentially the retail experience from there. Um, but we'll look at those friction points and especially in the B2B space, it may not actually be a cart, right? So yep. you can check out or you can complete your transaction uh, or your order. Request a quote, yeah, through whatever it might submitting be. Submitting a purchase order or taking the information and then and then doing a, a an EDI data exchange or something like that. Uh, so we'll look at how the full concept of an order completion is enabled by your, by your system. I got it. And then at the end, we'll have a great debriefing session. We will. We'll make sure that it's all clear to you. Our our, our itemized list of findings and we'll write up a report, but we'll also pre present it to you and, and debrief on that together so that it's yeah. clear and understood and you can take action. And again, a lot of people that like to be in that room from the customer perspective is both technical and business. So oh, that's why it's yeah. a little bit more, that debriefing session will probably be very heavy and a little bit longer. Look for a half a day. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not that long, but yeah, I get what you're saying. Uh, so if you want us to take a closer look at your e-commerce, get in touch. Thanks, everybody. Take care.